Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Like I promised, uh, this is the KD mail day. KD is on fire right now. Uh, right now we have the KD PSA 9 2007 tops, the white colorway. Um, this one's going for like $500, which is crazy because I made a video on December 21st right here actually, and I'll link it up above, where I talk in there about this card going for like 300 to 350 And then literally on Christmas Eve, like three or four days later, this card was having sales for $500 consistently on eBay. So in four days, it jumped about $100 to $150 in just four days. So if you jumped on it, that would have been, that, that's crazy. That's just crazy profit in four days. Um, we also have the variant card. We have one of the variant cards. That's another one that I had already bought in a couple uh, a couple weeks ago at a card shop. Those are my two investments in KD. The other ones we got, we got another one of the variant because I just thought it's a cheap card. Uh, cheap KD variant rookie. Why not? Um, I paid, I'll tell you what I paid at the end actually, because I bought it all in a lot. So I'll just give you, you know, a rough estimate of what you think each one went for it. Then we also got two of the orange ones. Uh, these ones now are in great condition. They're not in horrible condition though. Um, definitely won't get tens just because corners are nicked. And then also on the back, it's going to be hard to see just because this doesn't have that much. Um, but on these type of cards that you always get like little white lines around the border. Um, like I said, these ones don't have it too, too much, um, but they are kind of visible. Um, now on the front, we do have some like nickings in corners. I don't even know if you'll be able to notice, but we have some nickings in some of the corners. These are hard to grade as well. That's why I don't know if I want to send them to get graded. I saw some on eBay like PSA 6s and PSA 7s. Tried to compare my grades and those PSA 6 and 7s low-key looked better than my grades. Um, their corners like were good. So like the backs on theirs had a lot more white lines than mine though. So that might, you know, take into account why they got so low. Um, but again, I don't know if I want to. I know this card is a tough grade. Um, I don't know if I want to spend the money to get it graded for them to come back like a PSA 6 or 7 when I could just sell it raw. Then I would have to deal with cracking them and everything like that that so i don't know i might end up doing it depending on like where the prices go right now they are looking good these are currently selling in the market i've seen some like consistently ending for like 100 to 125 dollars each um let me just jump to the last card so i can tell you what i paid for this whole lot the last card is a lebron james this is his tops of the chalk uh toss this card last time i checked this card was selling consistently for around like 40 to 50 dollars um, I haven't looked in a little bit. I will, you know, check that in a little bit and let you guys know um, in the future video, like where they are at and updates and everything like that. I just thought this whole lot in general was a good buy. I got all four of these cards uh, for $150. I didn't think that was bad, especially because right now these are currently going for about $100 to $125 a piece. You know, add that up. That's about what two to two fifty uh this like i said was about fifty that's three hundred and then this is about thirty forty dollars we'll say uh so that's what three hundred and thirty dollars that's not too bad for only spending one fifty now out of the four of these cards um i did want to send this one to get graded but i noticed that the top left corner is actually nicked which kind of sucks because the rest of the card looks really good definitely could have got a 10 don't know if i'll send it now just because of that corner lebron's definitely going to get sent to get graded i don't care what this comes back this has to be in a slab i definitely think it could get a 10 that's one reason why i want to send it to get graded um because it i think it could get a 10 that's crazy uh even if it gets a nine it's lebron i think his stuff will easily go up over time obviously it's going to appreciate very well um so that one will definitely be getting sent to get graded don't know about these two haven't decided yet might end up just quick flipping them here depending on you know how kd does if he keeps playing hot um i might just you know go with the market go with the hot market and just make you know a quick buck even if i flip these in a week from now if they're at 150 a piece and i sell them for 150 a piece that's 300 dollars right Minus the 150 that I technically paid for the whole lot. So I got the whole lot for free. So that other KD and the LeBron are free. Basically make around $150 in profit, give or take, depending on, you know, fees and eBay fees, obviously like that seller fees. So just give or take around $150 in profit. Plus we still have these. Like, plus we still have these. So like, I think overall it was really good mail day. So shout out to the homie that hit me up in my uh, YouTube comments um, about, you know, some KD cards. We had a good, easy deal. 
Uh, took a little bit longer to get here, but it was dealing with Christmas, COVID, and a snowstorm that hit the East Coast. So obviously, there's a lot of factors that go into that. Um, but they made it. They made it safe. So thank you. Shout out to you. I think I'm going to wrap the video up there just because that's really all I got for the mail day. Um, I will be doing more mail days in the future once more stuff arrives. I will also be doing hopefully a part three to my current sports cards investments video. If you missed part one and two, I'll link them both down below. Um, and I will also link them right now at the end of the video. Again, if you enjoyed today's content, make sure you do consider dropping a like on today's video and even hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And with all that being said, I will see you all in the next video. Peace.